right welcome back again so now in this one we will discuss about uh, the overlay and the underlay overlay and underlay now first we will discuss about the underlay so what do you mean by underlay so you do have the internet over here or oh, let me get the blank page All right, so you can say that you do have your controllers, we smart, uh, we manage, and uh, we want. So now they are connected to the ISP. It's a different ISP. And again, you do have a different ISP. And again, you do have a different ISP. So now with this ISP, you do have a branch one here and branch two here. And with this ISP, you do have a branch three here. And with this ISP, you do have a branch four here. Now, underlay means it's like, a, it doesn't matter how you are a connecting underlay. This, so you can see that point one to point one connection, point one to point one connection. So point one to point one connection and point one to point one. So these uh, branches doesn't know what's going on on the internet, how the things are connected over here. Doesn't matter. So branches are like only interested, okay, I'm able to communicate with my controllers or not. That is only their concern. How things are connected over here, it doesn't matter. So this is the underlay connection, like there are multiple connections, how the connections have been made. So this is the underlay. So branch one doesn't know but they are able to reach to branch four they are able to reach to this uh controllers and branch two branch three and branch four everyone they are able to communicate but they doesn't have any information like how they are being connected so this is the underlay that means uh many connection how you are making a physical connection that is the underlay now coming to the overlay the same diagram what you can see that we manage we smart and we bond and they see that, okay, they are connected to branch one, branch two, branch three, and branch four. That's it. So basically they are saying that, okay, this is the, these are the controllers and they are connected to the branches. Simple is that. That is the overlay. That's the logical diagram. So overlay is the logical diagram. So underlay is the physical connection, how you made the connection and how you are making them to communicate with each other. But the overlay is just like, like a logical. So now the branches see that, okay, I'm able to communicate. They think that they are only directly connected to the, uh, the controller, simple as that. That's the overlay. So underlay physical connections, you are not into, you are not bothered about it until and unless you are implementing it. Overlay, doesn't matter how you are connected, by logically you want to see that you, your connection is in such a way. So that's the overlay. So now coming to this one again, the same thing, how the internet is being connected doesn't matter, but they, you can see that your data center, campus, branches and everything, using the different transport and everything, they are able to communicate with each other. So this is the logical diagram, but what's happening here, you don't know. How the connection have been made, you're not interested. You're least interested. That's the ISP job. That's not your job. But logically, overlay how you're connected, you see that you are connected directly. So that is the overlay and the underlay. Now on the Cisco SD band, you will be basically seeing about the overlay, not the underlay. Because you do have your controllers. Now the controllers are able to communicate with this all the branches. That's the only thing you want. Overlay. So you just want to see that logically you are connected or not. You are not interested how physically you are connected. Now coming to the licensing again, if you want, if you are going with the cloud, then you go with the cloud management licensing. Or if you want to go with the on-premises, you go with the Cisco DNA on-premises licensing. Again, if you want to get more details, you have to visit the Cisco website page and you have to get the details how much that is, does this cost. Now again, you do have a three different licenses within that one. That is the Premier Advantage and Essential. So again, 
it depends upon the how advanced features you want. So Premiere is like all the features will be included. Advanced is like some of them are included and some of them are not. And Essentials is like a basic one. Now let's talk about the authentication now. Now the, for, for the very first time, for example, you think that uh, you have uh, implemented, like you have installed the vManage, virtual manage. Now you, the device came up, everything is up and running. Now you have a GUI access for that one. And in the GUI access, first thing what you will do, you are going to set up your organization name. That's the first thing. Second thing will be your vbond details. So you will get a vbond, you will give them, a, we manage the vbond details. And the third one is that if you have a smart account, then you will connect to your Cisco smart account for licensing. So these are the three things by default you will be doing once the vManage is up and running. Now I want to do the provisioning of the vManage now. So the my vManage is up and running, it is on. So now I want to authenticate my vManage. Now there are two things, two ways I can do using the certificate authority. So I can use my organization certificate authority or I can use the Cisco certificate authority. So if you are using your organization's uh, certificate authority, then you have to do things manually. If you are doing the Cisco certificate authority, using the Cisco certificate authority, so by default, all the we managed devices and every Cisco devices, Cisco root certificate will be installed. So by default, it has been, it's been installed in that, those devices. Now, let's talk about that I want to provision using the organization CA. I don't want the Cisco CA now. So once the device came up, I will do the same thing. I will set up my organization name. I will give the information of the V bond and I will also give the information if I have any smart account. So once this information has been feeded, the next thing what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say that, okay, I want my vManage to be authenticated using my organization CA. Now, this organization CA is not trusted by my vManage. So what I have to do is that I need to install root CA, organization root CA certificate in my vManage. So once I install this one, then I can go ahead and generate the CSR. Now the CSR contains all the attribute details, whatever you want to give, like a common name, organization name, the group, the email address and everything. So once the CSR is being generated, I will take this CSR and I will go to my organization CA and I will get a certificate for my vManage. So once I get the certificate of my vManage, I will install that certificate in the vManage now we may see that, okay, I got a certificate from the organization CA and I have the root certificate is being installed. That means I am trusting that organization. So I will install that certificate and I will make sure that I am now secure. This is how the provisioning is being done. So next thing is that uh, I don't want to use the organization one. So Cisco said that, okay, when you have your vManage, when you deploy your vManage, we will provide you the certificate for free now. So by default, there is a root certificate over here. The only thing now what you're going to do is that you provide the details over here, generate the CSR and go to Cisco and Cisco will provide the certificate and this certificate can be installed. So the only process you are not doing here is that you're not installing the root certificates here, that's it. Apart from that, everything you are doing the same thing. But if you want to authenticate with your own organization certificate, then you have to install the root CA first, then you go ahead and issue the certificate for the vManage. Now, my vManage is up and running now. It has been authenticated using my organization uh, CA. So now for the controllers, what I want to do is that for every controller for vSmart, and for the vBond, I want them to be authenticated using the organization CA. I will do the same thing again with the vSmart. I'm going to install the root CA certificate. Again, I'm going to install the root CA certificate. So these root CA certificates should be done via the CLI on the device. 
itself. So once that is been installed, again, what I will do, I will say to we manage. Okay, we manage. Can you add vSmart? And once it adds the vSmart, it will automatically generate the CSR. And now I will take the CSR and from my organization CA, I will get the certificate and I will install it. So everything now, where, where I am doing these things now, I'm doing everything on the GUI of the vManage. I'm utilizing the vManage and I'm doing this whole process in the vManage GUI. And again, the same thing now, when uh, vSmart is done, again, I will say to vManage, okay, uh, can you add vBond? It will add the vBond. It will generate the CSR. And I will take the CSR and go to my organization CA. I will get the certificate and I will using the vManage I'm going to install the certificate in my VBON. So in this way, what happens is like authentication is being done. So all the three devices are now trusting the organization CA certificate. So now this is the settings I have to select. So by default, it will be Cisco, but I do have an option to say on the vManage, I don't want to get the Cisco one for my controllers. I want to get the, my own organization certificate authority to issue the certificate to the vSmart. So I have to select this option, then I can install the root CA. So in the provisioning, you will see that how to install the root CA certificate in that one. Now, once that is being done now, all the three devices are now trust the organization CA now. So forget about the Cisco now. Everyone have uh, the root CA, organization root CA installed and everyone got the certificate from my organization root C. So now what the vManage will do is that, okay, vManage will cross check that details. Okay, vSmart, can, do you have that root CA certificate? Yes, I do have. And who issued your certificate? That, uh, that's the organization CA. So communication done, authentication done. And again, the vSmart will do the same thing. It uh, will do the communication with the vBond saying that, okay, you also trust the same organization CA and you also got the same certificate and it will update that, okay, all good and fine now. So all the three devices are now authenticated. Now, these all things are happening using the certificate that is a DTLS certificates, communication. Now, since now my controllers are up and running now, all the things have been done. Now I want to provision my VH. So first thing is that since I am using my organization CA, I will say to my, my, what do we say, like my V manage now. Now, if you remember that now the process is like, I have to do manually everything now. So I have to add the device. I have to generate the CSR and I have to get the certificate and install that one. So I don't want that one now. So what I can say is that, okay, we smart. Uh, I just don't want to, I have done for the controllers since controllers are very less. That's okay. You can do manually. But edge devices will be many more. So I don't want that to like every time whenever the new device come in, I don't want to go through this process again. So what I will say to we, so we manage you act as a CA for edge device. So whenever the edge device is trying to do the come on board, you automatically generate the CSR for that edge device and you automatically provide the certificate for it and you automatically install the certificate for it. That's it. Okay, so we manage will say, okay, I will do these things, all these things, okay. But I only require that edge device to, uh, I want to make sure that device is the right device, which is coming on board. So I want the organization root CA to be installed in that device, that's the only condition. So now this device is coming onboarding now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just install the root CA inside this device and I make sure that it is able to communicate to vManage. So what happens is like, okay, this did, uh, device now has a root CA installed. It now has its uh, serial number and the key installed. So when these two things have been done, so what you're going to do is that it's going to communicate with the vManage, not directly with the vManage first. First, it will try to look for the vBond. And the vBond says, okay, 
hang on. I will first check whether your serial number is there or not in my database. So how to send that serial number to the VBOM? So you will install the serial key details in the vManage. So you do have a .csv file or the .vtela file. Okay, so this file, you can create your own and you can just import it in the vManage and you can send it to uh, vSmart and you can send it to vBond saying that, okay, a device with a serial number and a serial key will be coming. If you verify this one, can you please authenticate and do the provisioning? So now vBond has a detail of the serial key and vBond sex. Okay, you do have the root certificate of the organization root CA, that's correct. And you do have a serial key in my database that also matches, that's correct. Now, vBond will send details to the vManage saying that, okay, I have authenticated this device. It's a genuine device. Can you go ahead and do the onboarding? So now, what I will say, vBond will do, okay, so I have authenticated you. Can you please contact vManage? Now, the Edge device will contact vManage saying that, okay, can you please do the onboarding of my of me? So the vEdge will, uh, vManage will again confirm that, okay, you are having the root C of the organization and your serial key matches and that is being confirmed by the vBond. So he will now go ahead and automatically add the device, generate the CSR, issue the certificate and install the certificate and complete the onboarding. So it's a little bit of a complicated process, but uh, you need to understand that how the communication and authentication happen between these devices when they do the onboarding of the VH. So now the device has been onboarded. Now the what uh, you can say that, uh, for example, you have already created a template for that one, device template for this particular VH device. So the vManage will see that, okay, man, uh, you have onboarding is been now complete. And now I can see that there is a template uh, being ready by the administrator to deploy. So whenever you came uh, onboarding is been completed. So it's my job to now deploy that configuration to your, so it will send that configuration to the VH device. So now the VH device will receive that configuration and it will implement that configuration. Now this can happen same with the vSmart and the vBond also. If you if your administrator has created a template for it, so if the administrator has uh, created a template for it, so whenever the authentication is happening happened, so it will automatically push the not the authentication when the onboarding is being completed, it will automatically push the template for the vSmart also for the vBond also. So it all depends if you have already created the device template. Only. So that was your onboarding and authentication process of the VH devices uh, between the VH and the controllers.